Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of these guys right here. Really excited to show you guys these and an on-foot section at the end of this video. But this is the Nike Dunk Lux SP. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best quality pairs of sneakers I have in my collection. And it's also just one of those pairs of sneakers that the price point was pretty decent uh, for the quality that you get. And I sent out a tweet the other week about this, asking what was the... Uh, the best pair, quality pair of sneakers that you got for the lowest price. And what inspired that tweet was basically these shoes. I was thinking about how quality these shoes were and the price point was like 145 or 143 uh, versus a pair of LeBrons or something like that that are 200 or 250, 275 and, and so on. Like these ones are 140 and the quality is amazing uh, in my opinion. So I wanted to show you guys the quality up close and also, again, at the end of the video, an on-foot section. But I have to say that this model, uh, they had the all-white colorway. They had a the, the brown burnished colorway. If I could go back and get all three of them, I would. I might actually go back and try to buy the all-white colorway because it is just a ridiculously nice model. I'll put a link in the description if I can find a pair of the white ones online. Uh, also, a link to eBay if you guys are interested in this actual model right here. Um, but this is one of those things that I didn't know of this shoe happening I saw the white colorway leaked. I didn't even know there was a black one or the burnished until like the day of the release. And then as it dropped, I saw there was a black leather pair and I was like, dude, that is crazy. I definitely need that. From the pictures, it looks like this, but what they don't show you is that the whole entire inside liner is quilted leather uh, and it is super, super buttery soft, super nice leather. And it's not, it's not only just on the inside to like the collar, the quilted leather goes all the way up to here. Like it's it's quilted all the way down. So it's it's like a perfectly nice, uh, really, really nice build on these. I should have taken the laces out to show you. And then at the bottom, which you can't see because it's a black shoe in, the, in the, a, a room, at the bottom is actually leather lined as well. So the entire thing in the inside is, is black leather lined and it's really, really nice quality. And then you have the wax laces on here on top of it. But then you have this buttery soft black leather as well. This black leather is, I don't, I mean, so I held the, the Just Dawn 2s in my hand like at a sneaker show. Shout out to the homies that were sitting next to me in my DJ booth. Um, but basically like the quality of the Just Dawns, I swear is the equivalent to these dunks. These were 140, um, 150 on Nike.com. But uh, but these shoes are amazingly nice. It has the dunk bottoms the same as normal. Then this crazy, crazy high quality leather all the way across. Um, and I'll show you guys a close up next to some of the other ones over there. And you can see the tongue, kind of a laser etched um, swoosh on the tongue right there. And then um, again, that the what really kills it for me is just this. I mean, kills it in a good way is that quilted liner. And then I forgot to even mention this um, when I did my unboxing, but it has a Lunar Lawn midsole. So you have a leather lined uh, Lunar Lawn midsole or sole. Uh, for this thing so you can see how beautiful that is so it takes the the dunk to the next level of comfort by adding the lunar lawn sole on it and uh, with a leather line to, to boot um, just to give you guys a side by side of the quality next to the band ones look at this leather quality next to it this is the band one right here and this is this one this is actually softer than this leather here um, and I know it's hard to see but this this leather is softer than the band one leather and this is really nice quality leather in comparison to most Jordan retros but this is amazing like I don't even know dudes like it's so crazy how they can use some leathers sometimes and they're like okay and then other times you're like how did they make these with such premium leather but the run of this was way more limited than they do like on a run of Jordans because there's less demand so they can make higher quality choices you can see the leather on this one like just this part right here you can see it's just kind of like super duper mcdonald's type leather like mass produced leather then you can see the this one right here um it's a huge difference right so that's that's kind of the difference that i, I noticed up up front uh the leather is super soft for a pair of jordans it's the softest leather i've or not jordans a pair of nikes it's one of the softest leathers i have in the collection but it um brings me to the the final question which i asked earlier and i'll go ahead and put the on foot section right here uh but what is the highest quality pair of sneakers that you bought for the lowest price. Um, I mean, cause you could buy really, really high end sneakers and have really nice leather. Obviously we know you can spend five, six, $700 and get really premium Italian leather on shoes, but you're also paying five, six, seven, $800. Um, 
just curious to what is like your what in your opinion is like a nice quality pair of sneakers some people were um listing off uh gr release jordans as their their highest quality pickup but uh i just it's it's crazy because the leather quality on a, a regular pair of jordans is not very good comparison to something like a premium dunk like on this one right here in particular so I uh, just uh, wanted to know your guys' thoughts. I'm going to try to find the white pair now that I have the black ones because these things are just crazy and well worth $150 in my opinion. Um, and that's pretty much all we got. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up or uh, just give yourselves a high five for watching the video. I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys uh, for some uh, some more videos soon. All right, peace.